This is Katie Hunter from MA UK. I'm here with Alexander Luth, who is halfway to becoming the prize fighter. Talk to me about your first fight. I was a pretty back and forth fight, kinda. Uh, I felt like I dropped him every time I connected it on him. He took me down a few times, got my back and controlled me pretty good, but I felt like his punch was, wasn't that hard. It was just like a few slaps. So I didn't feel uh, any danger, kinda, when he, even when he had my back. So I felt like he, he couldn't submit me and as soon as I like turn it around, I put vicious scrum and pound on him, and just uh, dropped him a few times and won the fight on damage. So yeah, we're fully aware of the power that you've got in your hands and your knees. <laughs> We've seen it multiple times. Were you surprised you didn't manage to finish him in the first? Because it was a 10-8. He's one tough guy, isn't he? Yeah, the, the first round, it was so close to to get stopped. I felt like the last 10 seconds. It was, I felt like one time I tried to hit him, I hit his, like the leg was just in between like my, my fist and his face. And then I felt like if I hit only one more, I felt like he was, would be completely out, but he still managed to, to save himself. So big ups to him, but you know, damage is key. You, you win fights on damage. You don't win fights on control, I believe. So as soon as I heard that the fight was over, I was like, okay, I knew I won this. Yeah. And talk to me about the other semi-final fight. So you are now fighting Sherzad Kadrian in the final. He beat Wesley Meyer. Did you watch that fight? What did you think? I watched it a bit. I watched it a little bit. I was warming up like a bit easy. That was one of the reasons I got so tired because I think I got an adrenaline dump. But yeah, it's, it's still like it was, was what it was. But you know, big ups to him. He won the fight. I actually thought the. Uh, Maya would win the fight. I felt like he had good striking and would be a fun matchup, like yeah. in the final, I believe. So I, I was actually hoping for him, but it was uh, like I have said in other interviews. Like I don't care who it is. Like in the yeah. finals, it's a tournament. You can face whoever. Like put in uh, Max Holloway. I don't care who it is. Just yeah. put, put in someone and we fight. So so whoever it is, oh, now we know who it is. But yeah. like I'm up for whoever. So. Is it a different game plan for you now that it shows that? Do you think he's going to be wanting to grapple a lot more than Maya would have? Like I told before, I think he would shoot also. So it would probably be like the same, the same fight, maybe a little bit different. But like if he decides to strike with me, I think I will knock him out. So it's up to him. If he shoots, I will sprawl, run upon him, try to knock him out. That's, that's it. And finally, last time we saw you here, you were at Featherweight. Yeah. You've dropped down to Bantamweight for this tournament. How was the cut? How did you find it fighting in there at 135? Oh, I felt good. I, you know, I fought in Bantamweight. Uh, my pro debut was in Bantamweight, so I knew I could have could go down. I felt like I've been a small Featherweight before. Yeah. Uh, so, because against Luke, I didn't... Luckily for me, like, I didn't need to cut any weight for that fight almost. So, I was sick, like, three weeks in a row before the fight. So, that was kind of... Struggle. If I would have uh, fought in bantamweight to go down to bantamweight, if I was sick like three weeks in a row, but now when it, when that was in featherweight, it was it was it was fine. I went in maybe a bit sick, but it was what it was. Crazy fight. Big ups to Luke. I like Luke. He's yeah. entertaining. So so good luck for him in the future. And then uh, you know in bantamweight, I'm crazy dangerous. So I think you're dangerous at any way. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the final. Best of skill, and hopefully see you later on. Thank you. Thank you. Boom.